Hello guys and girls and welcome back to a new video today. This is my reaction video to Trammy Rovers against Barrow at Brennan Park on the 24th of the 4th, 2021 with a Trammy Rovers win, 1-0. Great win for us, I thought. Second half, we were fantastic. We created chances and we deserved the win. So yeah, I'm going to be starting talking about the, the game. So... The team lineup was a four, four no four three two one, with Murphy in goal, O'Connor in right back, Clark and Montfort as the two centre backs, Callum McDonald as our left back, with Lewis Spearing, Morris and Feeney in midfield, and um. Feeney and, Feeney and Danny Lloyd as in the middle with the other four. And then, obviously, I think, no, I think it was Morris up front with Woolery in the midfield. And the bench was Vital, Corey, Charlie Jolly, Otis Khan, George Ray, um, David Nugent and the goalkeeper Ben Jones. So, what? Do, well, what do I think of the first half? First ten fifteen minutes, we played okay, but we didn't really create any chances in the first half. But Scott Quigley was probably their best player on the pitch. I thought he was showing everything. Obviously, trying to get a goal for the Barrow and. Personally, I think he's a player that Trammy should try and get for next season. Personally, he's a player that scores goals. I think he scored about 15, 16 goals this season. I'm not too sure, but yeah, he is a good player and he obviously knows where the goal is. And that's what Trammy Rivers need. We need a goal scorer. But if we want to go up, I don't think we will go for him. If we do go up, but you never, never say never. But... Out of the game, I thought Tram Rovers only had the one or two chances in the first half with um, a, a J Spoon shot, which the goalkeeper saved, which was a great shot. Obviously, I thought Spain was scoring that, but obviously not. He didn't score. But yeah, um, and then obviously um, Barrow were just trying to counter or counter attack. And obviously, they done really well to defend. They played so much better in the first half. I, I thought they were the better team in the first half. But personally, I thought the players literally felt like they were asleep because they weren't playing that well. They weren't creating as much. But Barrow, fair play to them. They, they played really well in the first half. Uh, um, Oli Banks played really well. For them to say, obviously, um, obviously trying to create chances for Barrow, obviously getting a few free kicks and that and everything. But yeah, so going into the second half, where um, um, Morris came off for Otis Khan and Dan Lloyd coming off for Nugent. Personally, I was like thinking, bringing Nugent on was the best thing about it. Obviously. Because we needed a strike one because we didn't start with a striker. But yeah. Game changer. What a game changer. Second half, we were fantastic. We were absolute fantastic. We were creating chances. We were creating shots. We actually had shots on target. Uh, I'm not just saying it was only against Barrow. But we were creating chances that we wanted to win the game. And we did win the game. And obviously, um, um, Cal McDonald should have scored, obviously, with that flick. But that was inches, inches, inches close. Really close. And I thought he was he was okay today, obviously. And then coming into um, the fewer stages of the game, I thought we were creating so much. Personally, I thought uh, Peter Clark could have got sent off because the amount of times he was talking to the referee, literally in the back chat all the time, I'm like thinking, 
Peter, Peter Cork, just shut the fuck up. Because oh, he was awful today for me. I didn't think he was that good. I thought Monte played really well. And I thought Nugent played really well. Obviously, Nugent creating chances. And that's what we, we've missed. We've missed a goal scorer. That we that needs to score goals and in into games, but yeah, I thought we'd done really well. We stuck together, and then in the sixty seventh minute, a great cross from um, Feeney, great cross, and then um, David Nugent just headed, headed the ball in the top right hand corner of the net. Fantastic goal! I go off my head. And I'm like, yeah, that we've got a goal, which is fantastic. And then we just kept having sh um, chances and shots. I think we had eight shots on target today. And I think um, Barrow had seven. But yeah, I thought Barrow did play well in the second half. He did get a lot of free kicks. But then near the end, Oli Banks done he skied one over the bar. And I was like thinking... If, I, if he was at the Tramier for us and he'd done that, I'd be like thinking, fuck sake. But yeah, it's great to get the win today. Fantastic to get three points. But yeah, if Bowen win the next game, they go up. If Bowen get a draw and get beat and Tramier Rivers do win their next two games, we can clinch to the third. But if more can win, we're more can are in the same place as us because we're both on seventy two points. I think Bolton are on seventy six, so it's looking like Bolton will go up, unfortunately. But yeah, let's just hope we can go up. But has the times changed that we're going to go up this season? Obviously. We've won our last two games, which is fantastic. But we need to keep that momentum up. And yeah, because we play full screen next Saturday. And that is a huge game. That is a huge game. And full screen are in the playoffs. They've got a game, game in hand over us. But they can't go ahead of us in the league. But yeah, so that was good. And then we've got Colchester, the last game of the season. So... It's going to be all interesting for the next two games left. And then we'll have another two games and then possibly three games if we get to the final in the playoff final of League 2. Which will be fantastic if we can get promoted this season. But yeah, we've just got to take it one step at a time. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the game next Saturday against Forest Green because... Things will happen big time. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to him. So I will be doing my preview for um Full Screen Rovers versus Chummy Rovers on Thursday, sometime around half one, two o'clock. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace out. All the lights. Come on, you boys, so on me.